Hello friends, you are welcome on Beyond Engineering channel and today we are going to discuss about coronavirus impact on construction industry. Thanks a lot for joining. Let's start the today's topic. Impact on coronavirus becomes reality and started hitting us badly in our daily walk of life. I saw the news in December and I thought this will only be limited to China but now the spread of virus throughout the world became health emergency around the globe. I believe four ways the coronavirus outbreak will affect the construction industry and the first is effect on loss of productivity. Due to the government's lockdown this season and the social distancing, companies are taking proactive measures and started implementing work from home. But practically, this method is not a long-lasting solution for construction industry. Hence, COVID-19 started affecting the daily productivity, as the nature of construction projects are entirely a different working environment from the other industries, where we have to walk shoulder to shoulder and our physical presence are required. And the second effect will be on workers, employees, health and safety. We all are concerned about our staff members and colleagues well-being. We have to conduct daily toolbox meeting and install hand wash locations on site and could potentially reduce the impact of infection and also by implementing the government issued industry specific guidelines. Due to the rise in number of cases and news reported in the media, our mental and psychological health are impacted badly and anxiety among workers is one of the top issues brought by coronavirus. And the third impact will be on procurement delays. We operate in a truly global marketplace with many products, equipment and components for construction and engineering projects being manufactured and shipped from all corners of the globe. And due to the shutdown, in China, Italy, Spain, India and around the world, the entire supply chain is disrupted and the supply shortage will start impacting sooner or later. Now just as fact check, in 2019, China produced 50% of the world's steel, 56% of the world's aluminium and 58% of all concrete products manufactured globally with many of the products or byproducts being exported to the Middle East. China is also a large exporter of many finishes products as well as many MEP products and components and around 80% of the world's air conditioning units being manufactured in China. Italy is also a large manufacturing hub for the construction industry in particular for stonework with 16% of the world's marble being processed in the country. Now the important question over here is what is the solution? Now the solution of this problem is we have to look for the alternative suppliers and countries that haven't been negatively impacted by major supply chain interruptions. And the fourth impact on the construction industry will be project delay impact and its mitigation. While the coronavirus pandemic was an unforeseeable event, and contractor may still be contractually responsible for delays or cost overrun on current projects. But now the important question is the coronavirus a force majeure as the lockdown and health emergency is declared by the government and this decision and situation is beyond the contractor's control. Answer of this question varies from contract to contract and project to project. However, there may be some opportunistic claims but the impact of the coronavirus, particularly on the supply chain, are so broad that we expect there will also be many valid claims. Now the question is, what is force measure and what it mean? Force measure clauses allocated risk for future events that if they occur will affect the ability of the parties to perform the contract. FedEx, JCT and NEC suits of contract all include references to force major or exceptional compensation events. No fixed legal definition of force measures under civil law and each suit of contract deal with it slightly differently. Now at the end of the video does COVID-19 it will be called as an act of God? According to our reference Hong Kong code defined an act of God as an event, occurrence or 
accident due to the natural cause which must occur independently of human intervention and must not have been capable of being foreseen it could not have been avoided by the exercise of reasonable skill and care certainly arguably that this particular epidemic does amount to an act of god we will see how the world and courts deal with it but at this moment we cannot say this is a act of god or whether it will be considered as an act of god or it is a foresee measure so we have to wait and we will see how the government is going to deal with it so i hope you found this video informative thanks a lot for giving your precious time and if we added some value to your knowledge base then i request you to please support us by subscribing this channel thank you and thanks a lot be safe stay at home